Hey everybody, my name is Ed. Okay, so we're going to do another short film review. Okay, so this time it's going to be Les Samurai. So Les Samurai is a uh, French movie released in 1967. <coughs> Sorry, excuse me. <laughs> Sorry, excuse me. It is directed by Jean-Pierre Melville, starring Alan uh, Delon, Francois Pierre, and uh, Natalie DeLong, uh, Les Samurai is critically acclaimed and highly influential crime noir film that uh, portrays DeLong as a hitman on the run. The audience follows DeLong's character as he goes throughout his day, attempting to stay one step ahead of the police, as well as his employers who seem to be out to kill him. Uh, the movie is set in France. Uh, DeLong is an assassin named Jeff Costello who kills the owner of a nightclub. Jeff is seen leaving by a witness, but he has set up a supposed airtight alibi, so the police release him. There's, they are certain that Jeff is involved, but they can't prove it, uh, so they decide to start uh, surveillance on him. Meanwhile, the mysterious men who hired Jeff to do the hit decide to kill him in order to tie up loose ends. We see Jeff evades the police while trying to uh, learn the true identity of his employers. We also see lots of long shots of Jeff as he moves through his day-to-day -day activities, living in his lonely apartment, and walking the streets of Paris. Uh, beyond the surface plot, the movie seems to be a story about loneliness and isolation. So Jeff has a girlfriend, Jane, who provides his alibi, but Jeff doesn't seem to have uh, any other close friends. Jeff doesn't speak much unless he has to, and he has little other human contact outside of his job. His only other companion is a pet bird. His apartment is dark, it's poor, it is uh, sparsely furnished, and although he dresses well, he doesn't seem to spend money on many other creature comforts. The movie is slow-paced and moody. There's many scenes of minimum at best dialogue. It's funny that Jeff has access to a car, but much of the movie shows him walking or riding a metro. Also, Le Samurai is a nice-looking film with some interesting color contrast here and there. Uh, that credit should probably go to Henry uh, Decay. Uh, having said all of that, while I admired the film, it didn't quite blow me away. I'm not sure what more I would have liked to have seen. Maybe something more layered about the psychology of the characters, or uh, even just presenting more of scenic France. Uh, it didn't bore me, but I guess I wanted something more from the film that would really capture me. Uh, so to wrap it up, uh, Les Samurai by uh, Jean-Pierre Melville, starring Alan Dillon. It's a well-made crime film that's had an impact on several action and suspense films that followed years later. It's probably better as a mood piece than, it, uh, than as an action thriller. And it didn't engage me as much as I would have hoped. Uh, it's probably more interesting movie than an enjoyable movie. Uh, but I still found myself admiring it very, uh, very much. Just that I wasn't quite engrossed in it uh, as much as I thought it was going to be. However, again, it's definitely a well-made film and worth checking it out at least once. All right. So that's basically it. Thank you very much for listening. I do appreciate it. And you guys all have a great day. Thank you.